Okay, so this is the ducted, flan, ducted fan flying wing. Not flan. Um, as you can see, it has a ducted fan, and it is a flying wing, as the name suggests. Speak up, Sonny. <coughs> so or, originally, this thing was um, we were gonna try and um, have the ducted fan sort of built into the fuselage. It was the big uh, orange one. I don't know if we still have that or not. It's over in the bucket behind Nick. In the bucket, Nick, grab it. Yeah. Yeah, so we were originally going to use this guy until we found out that it weighed like two pounds. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's too big as well. <laughs> we only had half a pound of thrust. Yeah, it was it was not very efficient. It looked really cool and it sounded really cool, but it was just like. So um, we came up with uh, the idea of mounting it on the top and having a smaller one, and so Mr. Yip had this fan laying around, so we used that, and um, we used a smaller motor than we were going to use, which. Uh, Decreased weight, and we used a smaller battery, which also decreased weight, so it was sort of a win-win. Um, the plane also was originally going to be flat, but we decided to add dihedral halfway through just to make landing easier and make it a little more stable. It's like a four-degree angle. It's yeah, I think it was what it was. No, it's, it is four degrees. It was only four degrees. Wait, no, no, seven. Seven degrees, because it's 14 angles. 14 degrees total. Yeah, angle. so it was seven degrees on each side. I don't know how to show that. I'm just... I don't know. Yeah, not, we have flat. a good front view from here. Yeah. Um, okay. And then also we didn't we didn't really think about this, but we weren't going to add a vertical stabilizer until Mr. Yip told us we had to, because <laughs> we looked at other flying wings. We're like, well, those ones don't have fins. Why would we have one? But, and then it broke off on our first flight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It actually so broke off after I picked it up after our first flight. Yeah. So we got our wish eventually, right? Yeah. Um. Also, we were just going to originally have all of the components just sort of laying on top, and we we're going to build like this sort of tape cover for it, but um, we ended up using a, um, a soldering iron, and sort of just melting the, the foam so that it sat more low. It's so like the wires and stuff would go into the foam. Yeah, so it's, it's sort of taped up right now because we took it's it out. taped over so it's more smooth. Yeah, so these are like in line with the wing, mix them more dynamic. Um, yeah. You can hold it with this. Yeah, we, uh, we also added thing this. I, I uh, added. Yeah, so you made, you made a wood. Thing. Throwing handle, but also and it's angled like this so that it doesn't like run into issues when it's yeah. If it was just if it was just flat, it would catch an edge. Yeah. yeah. Um, we also did the same thing with the soldering iron with the um, the servos. We sort of we cut these uh, square holes in the wing and sort of shaved down so that we could get the servos in there and increase the aerodynamics and make it smoother and all that stuff. Um, we have so elevons. We do have elevons, yes. Yeah. Um, well, we do have the, the fiberglass that runs oh, yeah, from all the way underneath the motor, all the way or, yeah, all the way around to the back of it. And uh, that keeps the thing from falling apart. It is a split in half when it crashes. And the wings from that would be very bad. Separating upon the crash, which we'll probably do frequently. Uh, so, it, it flew once. I don't know if everybody was there that day. I know we had some people absent. It worked. It worked. Um, but uh, the control surfaces were super touchy. Like, I would barely touch the, the elevator, and the thing would climb crazy high. It was partially due to wind, but also because we had the, um, the whatever you call it. It was like the way that the controller does it is it's sort of an exponential curve for how much the um, elevons move, so we had to decrease that to make it a little bit smoother. We did that after the first flight. Um, and it was, it definitely had enough power, it was just, there was too much wind that day, or the wind was really bad. I'm not that good of a pilot, so I couldn't really hold it in. So, but it made a pretty soft crash landing. Do you just want to show all the elevons real quick? Yeah. Fire this up, so. I don't know if our battery has enough. Let's try the servos. Right now. Just, just slide down the street. Oh, it works. Yeah, so also, um, when we first made this thing, the elevons were actually reversed, so if you went right, it would go left, and then if you went left, it would go right. So we had to go into the controller, and Mr. Yip showed us how to program it so that it would flip everything around. But then that also switched the elevator, which was actually fine, so we had to go in and change that also. So if you want to go up, down, left, right, and then everything in between. I don't think there's enough, no, there's not enough power for the engine. Um, yeah. No, it's... Oh, it does yeah, work. Just yeah, we <laughs> well, no, because usually it beeps and doesn't let us do it, so... You want to hold it, Nick? We're going to do a live demonstration. We're going to fly, <laughs> fly it. We're in class. Just here, we're 3D. Oh, 
it's, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, you should have thrown it. There's a little spark right here. Is there? Yeah. That's not good. Uh, Alright, right. it's about half. Turn off that end too. Yeah. So, what do you think? So yeah, that's our uh, that's our project. Any questions? I saw a hand right here. Yes, George. Uh, well, I mean, if you count the battery, the receiver, and the servos as payload, yes. Did you guys want to show the video of it or no? Oh, I think George had the video. Yeah, it's like really. Oh, did George send it? I shot the video and sent it. Yeah, George has some. Good job, George. Did you get a video of ours? Thanks for saving our skins out there. Yeah, I can work. Good work, George. That's a good video. We have a presentation. We're making sure that our presentation is a slow mo video, actually. What? It's like the same thing. Yes, you can see so it all when, when he originally first threw it, it, it had an immense amount of lift, so I went down, but then because the control surfaces were so touchy, it like almost crashed, and I had to pull up and then down and sort of repetitive. George, you should film it the other way, horizontal straightness. Oh, whatever. Okay, fine. Can it do horizontal slow-mo? Yeah. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah, so it flies, and then as soon as it just disaster after this. I like. I think if I remember, I bank left, and then the wind. Yeah. Okay, so it went right, and I had to pull up, and then the wind just grabs and throws it past the softball fields. I like super Can I get some extra credit for this? Every single group is super I've got a question about being a good. No, I landed over by the. Anything back for that? Actually.